All right, so that's the basic procedure there. And what you've done is you've taken a cage shape that you found, and then you've built upon it to make a major scale. If you think back to our first video, that's the second step. The, you found the shape, and then you construct upon it. We wanted to introduce you to a few resources here that are available to help you with this step of building on the caged shapes. The first one is located on our guitargames.net site, and this is free. Go to our charts page and scroll down all the way to the bottom at the time of this recording. It's right here, something called the Caged and Major Scales, and this is a five-page PDF. PDF. Each page has one shape, so for instance, you see the C shape to start and then you work on that shape until you've mastered it and then turn the page you'll get the A shape, G shape, so on and so forth and each one steps you through from the triad to learning the full major scale. Another resource which we were using earlier is our super scale trainer. I wanted to introduce this to you. First of all, you'll see this very intimidating looking page with a million options. These are all the scales that you can learn with the super scale trainer. You don't need to learn all of them though. We'll start with our majors. Um, what you can do, come on over here, is you'll want to use the guitar mode. And why don't we do a game? This means we're going to be training the mental part of things. And we're going to say we want to follow caged. That's a new option we've just added where you can choose to do scales only in one caged shape which is exactly what we're learning today and we're starting with the C shape. And let's move it around a little bit. We'll do various different keys, keeping in mind that the pattern is always the same regardless of the key. And we're going to start by just training the major triad, which is where we start. So I've set that up. I'm going to click Start. Here you'll see the area of the neck that you need to enter notes on the caged shape which is the C shape and that's the C shape for the key of F and what you'll do is then go in and enter all the notes. So that's training you mentally. You would of course want to follow that with doing the major 7, the major 9, and the full scale as we outlined previously and as you can see on the chart we mentioned. Another great part of using the scale trainer is our play along mode and I wanted to show that to you which also has some good ideas on how to memorize these when you're playing. Now previously we saw just playing straight up but I wanted to show you some other ideas you might learn the arpeggios backwards always a good idea and then one other thing is to try to use different patterns so here's one called the skip and flip and watch what happens here inside and out and that's exactly what you want it's not enough to be able to just start at the bottom play up and back again you need to be able to start on any string at any point and based on that caged shape complete the scale and jump around when necessary so I hope these resources will help you and you can use this same technique for other items like the minor scales dominant chords and scales the approach will always be the same. You want to break it down to baby steps, learn one caged shape at a time, and build up from minimal materials, basically the triad, to more complicated ones and eventually full scales. Good luck to you.